Hi, how's it going? I hope you're doing okay. And if you're not doing okay, I hope you get better. So today I will be talking about something really bad. Basically what's happening is that 10 days after the Hurricane Eileen, something worse is coming up specifically for the Florida state of the U.S., which, which is Hurricane Milton. Hurricane Milton, what is it? It is a class three level hurricane that is coming from the Gulf of Mexico because of rising waters and rising temperatures because of the obvious thing that is making YouTube you know, limit my channel, which is obviously climate change. Really incredibly hot, a record hot, as you might imagine. You know what's driving that. I don't need to tell you. Global warming, climate change uh, leading to this and becoming an increasing threat. It's obviously true. No information, no misinformation. It's like literally true. Like, I don't know why YouTube keeps cutting me off of saying important information and trying to help people. 10 days after Helene, a category five hurricane hits Florida this week. Hurricane Milton, the fourth strongest hurricane recorded in the world. Coming from the Gulf of Mexico, dropping to category three, once it reaches to Florida from Mexico, it's out of five. Mexico is hotter than average, and that is obviously not normal. And as I said, rising waters, which is really bad for the people of Mexico. And by the way, category three plus or higher hurricanes are major potential for significant loss of life and damage. And for this hurricane Milton, once it reaches Florida, um, between late Wednesday and early, Thursday would be over 200 plus miles per hour in wind gusts in terms of the hurricane. So it'd be one of the worst hurricanes yet that's recorded in history. A cost that a lot of these people probably can't afford because all of their shit was destroyed two weeks ago during Hurricane Helene. And these communities haven't had time to rebuild. I'm actually incredibly concerned because a lot of people whose homes were flooded, they've put all of their destroyed belongings out on the curb to be picked up. They haven't been picked up. So now we have all of these destroyed belongings sitting on the street and a hurricane with winds over 100 miles an hour is about to blow through and blow all of that shit all over the place, destroying who knows what. Florida is in a very dire situation right now. I have friends who were already homeless after Helene. They've got nothing to lose, I guess, at this point, but that's the world these people are living in. It arrived primarily in Tampa Bay on the west coast of Florida. Warnings on evacuation flash flooding possibility with an average of a 16 hour drive out the state because obviously what the governor gets proposing for the Florida residents, and I think at least over 58 counties out 62 or something like that. This applies to you, and you must leave this area now. You're running out of time to get to safety. Paso is expecting dangerous storm surge and damaging winds, and it is not safe to stay in these homes along Paso's coastline. If you have nowhere else to go, shelters are open. Is to evacuate which means you have to go evacuate to Georgia or to like North Carolina or something like that. And obviously you can't just easily evacuate out because depending where you live and especially, you know, around Tampa Bay, um, it's going to be an eight hour trip just to go to Georgia. And by the way, these states are just recovering, still recovering from the tragedy of Hurricane Eileen, and this just happened one week ago. And so the problem is that obviously, just like people would panic buy, people would also basically panic evacuate. So things like Airbnbs and hotels are booked up. Things like, you know, renting out a car would be booked up. And guess what? The airport in Florida will be closing very, very soon, um, basically before Wednesday. So obviously no one gets hurt, so you have to hurry up and then leave on top of that to fly out as soon as you can. And obviously plane tickets will be very high and be overly booked, booked up. And so the problem would be is like, okay, well, if you have a car to figure out a way to drive there, you're going to have to drive double the time because obviously traffic is a motherfucker. 
So basically you amongst other people will be driving out there. But the problem is you don't please don't extenuate or overestimate or try to be too cocky about being thinking you're able to get out of the state. Because it's obviously not recommended to be stuck on the freeway during you know the hurricane happening because there's already warnings about um, a flash flood occurring. And so that is a really big problem. And I did put it in my last video on how to basically prepare for evacuation, um, especially prepare for how to be safe in your own home and how to basically be ready for this. So I would recommend if basically people are panic buying from the store, if you can go to your local Costco, um, Aldi, or any related type of store, I would recommend going on Amazon, doing the Amazon Prime for next day shipping real quick. Because the thing is, you will need things like a flashlight, you will need things like perishable goods, or imperishable goods, I mean, a big canister of water. You would need basically a battery, um, portable charger to charge all your devices. You would need to pre-charge your devices. You will need to do all of that stuff and I would recommend getting a waterproof backpack just in case, get a very large one and to prepare yourself and prepare any, you know, medications or, um, sorry for it, important personal items that you may need in there. All of that is very much important to make sure to stock up and make sure to be ready because this is going to be very serious. Things like gas stations would be basically out of gas once you get to it. Because obviously if over 1,000 people are going to drive to Georgia from Florida and they're all taking like, you know, who knows how many gallons of gas, like 30 gallons at least per person, you know, these gas places are going to be out. They're going to be out of gas. So you have to worry about that as well. Yes, uh, that news just came out right now. Uh, and uh, it's certainly uh, it's just an incredible, incredible, incredible hurricane. Uh, it has dropped. It has dropped 50 millibars in 10 hours. Um, I apologize. This is just horrific. Um, winds, maximum sustained winds are 160 miles per hour, and um, it, uh, it is just uh, gaining strength in the Gulf of Mexico, where you can imagine uh, the winds, I mean, the seas are just so incredibly, incredibly hot, a uh, record hot, as you might imagine. You know what's driving that. I don't need to tell you. Global warming, climate change uh, leading to this and becoming an increasing threat. Have you noticed that it's not just about, oh, it's just a hurricane, it happens. But no, like back to back after a week, people really got a time to breathe, thinking things will be over. This is happening, this is occurring. And that also puts in the fact that over like the past 13 months, multiple hurricanes have occurred within the southeastern part of the United States, as well as being like some type of blizzard in the western part of the United States. And really weird climate change, like super hot summers and really cold winters. And where I'm at in California, in SoCal specifically, it's still hot here and the colors of um, the leaves like on the trees, they're not changing colors. Sometimes it's getting cold, but that kind of feels like early fall weather, but it's well into October. And I know it's like the more beginning of fall, but things would have been changing a long time ago. I would have been seeing crunchy leaves on the floor. Things are getting weird, things are changing. And like I said, water is rising. Louisiana will be overflown and underwater in the next 30 years. And then I will be having to sell my real estate to Aquaman or any mermaids because you know how Ben Shapiro said about underwater real estate. So I do recommend that if you cannot afford to leave and you have to leave as soon as possible, I recommend. I just really want to recommend hurry up and drive there and try to get out the gas you can and go to any like auto zone you can so you just keep filling in your car with gas and going to the location. So you just book the Airbnb or whatever and just be a dirty ass bitch, hungry as hell for a day or half a day and just order the rest of your things there. Because this is really important and yeah, I'm just sending my prayers out. And I really do hope the best for everybody who is going through the situation. And I really don't know what the future would be for people living in the Southeastern United States, 
full time, especially since it's like not easy for people just to get up and leave. And even when that happens, like what will happen with those states and how much work it can cost in other states. And you know, like people have been saying this over 20 years ago and no one has been listening purposely been ignoring it. So I like all I can just say is I hope things are getting better for I hope things will get better for Americans. And the problem is that FEMA is gonna be stretched even more thin. As I said last video, from the hurricane, 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 disaster after disaster, FEMA is gonna be non-existent because I heard they're giving seven fifty per person to their centers, they don't have enough money, so they gotta, you know, stretch it out. And now this issue is happening and they have to recover lost businesses and for uh, citizen situations.